Nobody wants to talk about the dark side of AA because it does help some people. But here's what's really going on. AA is based on the big book, which cites not one scientific study. The big book is a spiritual and moral manifesto written by a privileged white guy in 1939. Before we even knew about neuroplasticity or neurotransmitters or how the mind and body are affected by cognitive dissonance. Some guy just decided that alcoholism is an incurable disease. And now a hundred years later, we all believe that's a fact. Most people think that the only way to overcome a drinking problem is lifetime abstinence. But epidemiology studies show that people who learn how to moderate do much better long-term. Statistics clearly show that getting completely sober exponentially increases the risk of binge drinking in the future. I mean, duh, sobriety is just the nothing in the all or nothing mindset. This is a glaring oversight that's hiding in plain sight. The AA philosophy is not based on science, nor do they require their sponsors to have any formal training in mental health. And there have been so many studies that have tried to link AA to positive long-term outcomes, they can't do it. Which is why judges and doctors and mental health experts need to start doing their homework and stop forcing people into programs that probably aren't gonna work for them. If you or someone you love is struggling with alcoholism, I understand the desire to do something to just make it stop. Just consider that conventional wisdom produces conventional results. Follow my account if you're looking for an alternative approach.